Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And before we begin, I just want to let you know I'm actually out of town. So if some bomb dropping news happened, and I'm not talking about it uh, today, uh, this would be Thursday the 20th. Um, there you go. Because technically I'm recording this on Wednesday the 19th. Like I said, I'm out of town. But this is interesting news. I think you're going to enjoy this anyway. So let's carry on with the show. Because canceling streaming services for subscriptions or subscriptions for streaming services is about to get easier. But but Netflix, Disney, take your pick. They're trying to prevent this. Now, this is coming from uh, Business Insider, just now known as Insider, and uh, Lucia Moses. And I think this is really interesting and important. Now, media and entertainment giants, as I mentioned, are pushing back hard against a Federal Trade Commission, or FTC's, click-to-cancel proposal. That would make it easier for people to cancel things like streaming services, gaming, you know, those kinds of things online. Now, Hollywood giants like Disney together with basically the tech uh, side of streaming like Netflix and other affected businesses are putting up resistance to these proposed regulations. Companies of all walks have angered consumers by making services all too easy to sign up for but are basically very difficult to cancel. Gyms, news outlets are some of the worst. Uh, try canceling subscription to cable television. You'll be on the phone all day and on and on and on. Now the FTC has in the past gone after individual companies. For example, they recently sued Amazon, alleging that they quote-unquote tricked people into signing up for Amazon Prime following uh, basically the FTC's proposal in March for regulations that intended to quote, uh, make it easy for consumers to cancel their enrollment as it was to basically sign up. Now, this policy... Uh, would cover providers of both digital and physical subscriptions from streamers to gym memberships to phone companies and cable TV distributors. This new rule would require companies to offer a simple mechanism for users to cancel subscriptions the same way they signed up. For example, you wouldn't have to cancel a service in person or over the phone if you signed up for it online. This proposal comes at a precarious time for the entertainment industry. Aside from the fact there's a writer's strike and now an actor, like Screen Actors Guild strike, Hollywood distributors are counting on streaming to actually save them from the decline of cable television. But the model depends on getting more subscribers to join and stay, and consumers have become trained to frequently cancel their subscriptions. We basically see this quarter to quarter uh, when new Netflix stuff comes out. People get in there and they sign up and then basically they have a fall off and then more people sign up later on and it goes in waves. Now, the average monthly churn rate across 10 subscription video streamers reached 5.8% in 2022. That was up from 3.2% in 2019. And that's according to the data analytics firm Antenna that tracks these things. And obviously going through a pandemic between 2020 and 2022, a lot of streaming services were adopted and eventually abandoned. And so I think that's part of that rate there. Now, in a Deloitte survey, 44% of respondents said they canceled a paid streaming service within the past six months. That's the highest level in nearly five years that Deloitte has been tracking churn. And overall, I think this is a good thing. It should be very easy to, to basically cancel things. I mean, there have been comedy like comedy shows that have have talked about this and made jokes of it i think it was friends where like i think they were just trying to quit the gym and so like like whoever was going in to quit the gym they just bring like a hot person out to like convince them not to not to quit the gym uh you know uh, there was another show where they're trying to cancel cable service it was like half the episode of just them yelling at the cable people as they were getting routed and moved everywhere dealing with these services are absolutely horrible and i think that if we have a law that basically says, yeah, I've got, let's say, a, a gym membership, but I can go onto the gym membership website, punch in my code and say cancel, and I am canceled, that's as easy as it should be. If it's easy to sign up, it should be easy to cancel. And so they have these data, like not, oh, I was going to say data loss prevention, but they have like these retention departments that essentially if you try to cancel cable, you get forwarded a retention and they start offering you deals and add-ons and like, oh, well, we'll cut your bill in half and give you HBO or whatever it is, and I don't think any of that should exist. I think you should be able to cancel. Your reasons are your own, no matter what your reasons are, even if you're just sick and done of it, or you didn't like it, whatever, it's your own reason. So I think this is a good thing. I have no doubt that, you know, again, the lobbyists are just going to get, you know, involved in this and keep pushing back. But ultimately, if we keep moving that ball forward, we should have a, a basically an FTC law here, and they all better essentially uh, adhere to this. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start suing them because we see class actions as a result of failure to keep up with these laws as well. So I think it's a good thing. I'd love to know what you think. And uh, 
here we are. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well, which apparently is very easy to unsubscribe to me, although you never should. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.